Let's bring in the fundamental guest, Shetan Thakkar, Senior Vice President, who is also the Portfolio Manager at Ask Investment Man Managers there. Good morning there, Shetan. Good morning. Thank you so much for uh, having me on the show. Pleasure. Let's start off with your assessment on the exuberance that's been uh, witnessed across the mid-cap space. Do you think the rally is overdone? If not, what are the ideas that perhaps one could look at? I think historically, if you've seen uh, how mid-caps have behaved, it's whenever growth accelerates, you essentially see the market opening up. And we are seeing that play out even now. There is an expectation of growth accelerating over the medium term. And hence, we are seeing the kind of delivery that we are seeing in mid-cap because growth then comes to a lot more players uh, within each sectors. Having said that, I think from year on, it will essentially boil down to how these companies deliver uh, in terms of growth versus expectations that are built in. Uh, companies which are able to deliver reasonably higher growth with reasonable capital efficiency will continue to do well. So. Uh, irrespective of uh, the size today, if they have this character, they should continue to do that. Any particular themes, if not for names, that one could look at? So, so we generally uh, look at the character of each business. And uh, when we look at the character, we would focus significantly on uh, the capital efficiency of these businesses, quality of growth that these businesses are getting, uh, and sustained growth over a more longer term. So our assessment is any entity which can deliver that, uh, should continue to do well. So okay. sectors and pockets uh, where we believe uh, growth will continue to accelerate, be it uh, chemicals, the manufacturing space, where we believe there is a strong tailwind, uh, to some degree pharmaceuticals. Uh, these sectors should essentially do well from a more medium to long-term perspective. As the country gets richer, our expectation is consumer discretionary uh, should also do well from a more medium to long-term perspective. Chetan, also your view on the shares of PSU, uh, overall, what do you, what's your assessment on the PSU space, given that the share in the overall market capitalization is now at four-year high, and four companies, technically, it's the SPI, LIC, NTPC, and Hindustan Aeronautics, which have contributed to a third of these gains. How are you looking at the space? We are essentially assessing them in the same light. Uh, we are seeing businesses where either capital efficiency is uh, high or improving, uh, what is the growth that can come to these businesses from a more medium to long term perspective? And our assessment there is uh, that uh, any PSUs which will essentially see improvement in capital efficiency and delivery of growth uh, over a longer period of time will continue to do that. All right, so uh, there is a bullish view coming in for the PSU companies, but let's also talk about the OMC shares. They've tumbled around 3 to 10 odd percent since August amidst the crude surge and the lower Russian discount. You think there's still a potential re-rating candidate given the numbers that we've seen in Q1? So the OMC space will have to be looked in conjecture to what happened last year. I think last year was a year where uh, they ran losses, particularly on the marketing margin side. And this year we are essentially seeing uh, that getting recouped uh, to a certain extent. As we move ahead, our assessment is that uh, the refining business will continue to uh, do reasonably well. Uh, essentially, it's coming in from the capexes that these entities have done, so that should improve capital efficiencies of the refineries. Plus, we have some degree of sourcing advantage, uh, which can continue. Uh, clearly, uh, what remains to be seen is how marketing margins will behave, and that in turn will also determine uh, the re-rating potential of these businesses. So I think that is uh, the risk in these uh, names largely. If we see that play out favorably, our sense is valuations are to a certain extent favorable. Okay, do you also find the valuations favorable for banking industry given the NIM compressions that we've seen in Q1? And if uh, not, do you think NBFCs are better places as compared to private banks? So clearly from a NIM point of view, uh, the assessment is that NBFC should do well as we move ahead because they typically have a fixed price book uh, that gets repriced as we move ahead. Uh, they've seen the brunt of higher cost of capital uh, play out uh, upfront itself. So to that extent, you will essentially see NIMs do better for NBFCs. But again, eventually for the space as a whole, uh, be it banking or NBFCs, uh, the equation will finally boil down to what is the growth that they can deliver. Uh, what are the ROEs and what is the capital efficiency? What do you like within the within the space? 
So he won't be able to speak very stock specific. Okay, uh, let's actually get your view then a little more wholesome view on this space. What do you think about electronic manufacturing space? Is it a sunrise sector? So EMS is really well placed right now. We've essentially seen a lot of government support uh, in terms of PLI. Uh, there is a fair degree of localization that is happening. Uh, the expectation is uh, growth will continue to accelerate here as we move ahead. Uh, structurally, it boards well as well. Uh, that reduces our imports, uh, gets a lot more things localized here. Uh, given the environment that we are in, I think there are strong tailwinds for India, particularly on the manufacturing side. Companies are looking to move their supply chains away uh, to other sourcing destinations, and I think India stands out to that extent. So if you are able to grab a pie of that opportunity, we are a smaller player there on the export side. So there is a fairly long runway for growth. Here. All right, Chetan, we're just going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for taking out the time and speaking to us this morning. Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. All right, with this, it's a wrap and goodbye from the entire team who puts this piece together. Thank you so much for watching. Please do post your feedback for us in the comment section below. Follow us on the link at the bottom of your screen. And for the rest of the updates, stay tuned into moneycontrol.com and Money Control app.